What is it? Well, look at the trees. The elephants have knocked them down to get at the leaves. That's how hungry they are. Lesson one, oh humble assistant. Starving animals take desperate measures. But I thought our herd was doing well. well. Too well. Too many elephants. They can't spread out and move into new territory like they would in the wild. Because they're fenced in. <sighs> Why aren't they with the herd? Well, when food's scarce, the herd becomes stressed and aggressive. I think this couple have been kicked out by the others. The male's badly gashed. Look. His tusk is broken. Fighting over food, probably. Not good. Hey, Max, here's a double scotch. <laughs> Just to set me up for the day. Just pour it, all right? Well, gentlemen, I must go. One of my men will pick you up for the first drive if you can amuse yourself to them. Shouldn't be a problem. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> hey, Fatani, so when does your new boss arrive? This morning. Oh, yeah, he's a real ball breaker, eh? Why aren't you wearing your brown trousers? A <laughs> <laughs> uh, question for you. Why don't you help us out and take a few of our elephants? <coughs> Where's Duplessis when you need him? I'll radio for a truck and we'll transfer the elephant to our holding pens and treat him there. Duke says we should be culling them if there's not enough space and not letting them starve. You're my student, not his. And I'm not planning any executions. Oh, here they come. Come on. Come and get it. Ah, don't give me that, man. Mara can take a few more elephants. <laughs> you know it, I know it. Matter of fact, I know your business better than you do. End of discussion. I got work to do, to please. Just be a bit neighborly, man. Help a friend out. I told you the answer is no. Oi. Need a hand, mate? Uh, no, 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 thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you in your fancy clothes with your fancy friends. You pathetic. You know, coming from a washed up loser like yourself, Duplessis, that's quite an insult. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, we'll come back for her tomorrow. They don't like being separated. See you tomorrow, girl. Hang on in there. Don't talk to the animals. That is so unprofessional. Oh, there's Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> so we are done here? Yeah, we'll need to check on the giraffes. With this many trees down, they'll be short of food too. How are you enjoying it? Right. Yeah. We'll get him loaded up, start treating his wounds so they don't turn septic. Oh, it's the glamour I really love. Yeah. Thank you. There are best rooms. Listen, just shout if there's anything else you need. Bottle of bubbly? Or perhaps two? <laughs> of course. So, who's the lucky girl? Mm, you haven't seen the groom. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's me. A few days a week from now. Congratulations. Thank you. So, are there any men around here? Lovely. No, no, this is all wrong. <laughs> Single beds. The young people. They, they want to be together. Yeah? Double beds. What would you know about it, ancient <laughs> wreck? Double duvets. Yeah? And flowers. Lots of flowers. Here they are. No, my big flowers. Chocolates on the pillow, marching bands, and Zulu warriors. Well, my boy is bringing his fiance to meet me. Mm. Everything must be perfect. Don't stop fussing. They're going to love it. Right. I'm going to go and freshen up. What does that consist of? Kicking your moustache? Or maybe I'll go the whole hog and comb your eyebrows. <laughs> Why do you suppose it's taken him so long to bring her to meet me? Maybe he's ashamed of her. Look at him, soppy old tube. 
Duck, are you in there? Hey, where were you today? Bedding them's only dealing with the symptoms, not the cause. Well, I can't ignore injuries like that. I told you those giraffes were getting hungry, Rosie. Consider them your first practical. How many times must I tell you, Trevenian? There's only one way out of this mess. Call some of the herd. No, the word is kill, and I'm not killing elephants. So you need to wait for them to kill each other, eh? Face it, Trevenian. Tough love. You've got to be cruel to the few to be kind to the many. I'm telling you, never. Rosie? Don't well, if you're not man enough to do it, I am. Hey, Dirk. Good to see you, boy. Good to see you. Oh. I want you to meet Nima. It's the proudest day of my life. Nima, this is Evan. This is Olivia. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, we can't put a pregnant woman in a tent. So you want us to move out? Exactly. But just an hour ago, you moved us in. Your point being? Look, a heavily pregnant guest has just arrived. She can't be too far from the house. I'm sure you understand. <sighs> tent, you said. Yeah, it's lovely. It's just like out of Africa. And is he the best you can do for Robert Redford? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll make it worth your while. A third off the price. Make it half and drinks on the house and you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. It's I... a deal. Just move. I'll pick you up at six tomorrow morning for your first game drive. Six? Can you make a ten? It'll be too late to see the animals. Why, are they going somewhere? Would you like me to bring them to see you? That would be nice. Uh, 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 one more condition, Sarah. Oh, Max, yeah. I think we might run out of champagne. Would you mind? Yeah, I'll drop it off tomorrow first thing, eh? If you wouldn't mind. Who's this? Right, Rosie, can you prepare me up a large syringe? of antibiotics. Danny, this is Mr. Creel. He's just taken over at Mara. Oh, right. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Danny. Elliot Creel. Oh, sorry. This is my daughter, Rosie. Hi. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about your father. All good, I hope. <laughs> Look, I haven't settled in yet, but I wanted to come meet my neighbors. You know, it's important to me that we get along. Sure. Oh, sorry, I don't want to disturb your work. Yeah, we've got a major elephant problem at the moment with overpopulation. The other animals are starting to suffer. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you'd like some elephants as a welcome gift from Leopard's Den, Elliot. Thanks, that would be... I, I had this discussion this morning with Mr. Duplessis. Um, we fully stopped. Mara has no use for such gifts, sir. Tanya's the guy on the ground. But listen, hey, why don't you come tomorrow for lunch tomorrow? We can talk it over and get to know each other. But, sir, that's not possible. I've organized this tour of our land for you, you know, so you can see the wonders of Mara. Excellent. We'll have lunch first, and then perhaps you can join us, Danny. Give me the benefit of your experience. Oh, and bring your partner, uh, Duplessis. I understand he's quite a legend around these parts. That's one word for him, yeah. You're really gonna like it, eh? Yeah. Best rooms in the house. That's great, Dad. Hey, Nima. You look tired, man. Yeah, come, come, come. Sit down. I... Take the weight of my boy off your feet. I'm fine. Here we are. I'll leave you to rest. Everything all right, son? Everything's fine, Dad. Okay. You know, it's gonna be great, Eddie. The years ahead, we're gonna have such happy times. All four of us. You have to tell him, Kirk. Hey, 
Hey, look everybody. Baby practice. Get not, eh? <laughs> well, <clears throat> now that everyone's here, well, almost everyone. Yes, Danny. Kirk, Nima, sorry. Problem? Uh, just trying to lift a death sentence on some elephants. Sorry. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> so, Nima, when's the baby due? In about six weeks. And do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a boy. And it's going to look just like me. Oh, poor child. What a dreadful start in life. And you can call him Anders. You have no idea what difference it makes to me to be a grandpa. Let's have a big leopard's den toast to the future of Kirk and Nima and the amazing baby. Kirk, Kirk and, and Nima. Nima. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. It's good to be here. Yeah. You know, you could have the christening here. Hey, you could even have the wedding here. <sighs> Mr. Duplessis. Anders. Anders. I'm sorry, everyone. But Kirk has something to say. What is it, boy? Dad, we want to make a new start in a new country. I don't understand. I don't have such a great job, a taxi driver, and, and our pokey little flat. We think that we'll have a better life away from here. Nima was born in Chicago. I could get a green card. We are going to live in America. Clever boy. Sorry, guys, nothing for you. You want some more? Hey, so, no one's seen him. No, I couldn't find him anywhere last night. Your news hit him pretty hard, Kurt. It's not like he and Kirk are close, they hardly know each other. He just needed some time on his own. To sleep it off, maybe. Excuse me. I think I'll go look for him. Mum, this lunch at Mara, it means quite a lot to Danny, and I really don't think that Dup should... Well, you know. Poor old aunt does. No one seems to want him. And in his own house, too. Oh, Max! Can I ask you another big favour? What's that? Would you mind taking a few of my guests on a game drive? Me? Hmm. You must be joking. I don't know the first thing about it. Oh, what a shame. Those three girls in bikinis by the pool are going to be absolutely gutted. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that odd. Huh? <laughs> Is it not working? No. It's getting worse. I'm trying a mixture of antibiotics now. Are you sure you want me to go to Mara instead of do? Well, it's vital we persuade Creel to take some of our elephants. I just can't risk Dupe at the moment, not the state he's in. He won't like it. Yeah, well, he's got other things on his mind. Good boy. There's my boy. There we go. Found this of great comfort, did you? Take a walk, woman. I know how this must be hurting. Sarah and Danny did it to me once, remember? Well, then you arrived and I were all one big happy family. Don't get snippy with me, Duplessis. This isn't about what you want, you big lump, but what they want. It's hard to accept, but our children have their own lives. It was damn inconsiderate of them. But can't you see what it must be like for them? No wonder they want out. I just wanted what was best for them. Then get off your scraggy bum and deal with it. And cut back on this, or a baby won't know its grandfather. I don't know anything about animals. Beers, yeah. Animals, no. Listen, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Just stick out your bum and flirt for Africa. Well, is my shirt on then? It is now. Morning, girls. Hey. Cute. Does he have a name? This is Max. <laughs> it's his first time, so be gentle with him. <laughs> okay, girls, who's up for a ride? 
I, I do like you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, have fun. Was that Max? Um. Sorry about the no show at breakfast day. Eh? Got a bit of a shock last night. That's okay. We're sorry too. Hey, Nima. <laughs> you think about your family? That's good. It's right. Thanks, Dad. Now listen, you don't have to leave anymore. I've worked it all out. You can stay here with me. I'll get you jobs. Uh, the nipper can go to school with Evan and Olivia. It's perfect. Dad, you'll have a good life here with me. We want a life of our own, not yours. Listen, there's a very good offer I'm making here. Most people would jump at the chance. This is the last place we'd want to bring up a child. That's enough, Nima. He's been drunk ever since we got here. You said so yourself. You want to say something? To you say it to me, eh? It's not going to happen. None of it. So forget it. Do you think I'm going to let you take my son and grandson away from me? I told you this was a bad idea. He knows nothing about you. You poisoned him against me. Back the bags. We are leaving. Since when does a duplicy let a woman tell him what to do? Can you please not breathe in here? I am pregnant. Now listen here, you. Enough. This whole thing, it's not Nima's idea. It's me who wants to go. Well, I hope you'll be very happy together. Because you're not welcome here. So where are you taking us, mystery man? Ah, patience, Rosie. Soon you will see, and you will be amazed. Sir, I'd like you to meet Mara's brand new electrical fence. <laughs> Beat that, Giovanni. Oh, well, you kept this quiet. Was this in the budget? It, it wasn't too expensive, sir. Oh, you got it second-hand? I prefer the term pre-used. I did cost-benefit analysis, which I studied in college, and this will pay for itself. Okay. Not me. You have to convince. No, 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 no. But I'd like to hear your opinion. Well, fence maintenance is an issue, especially for a park this big. A thousand and one things can go wrong. Elephants can knock them down. I mean, it can be a great investment, but only if it's well-maintained and doesn't harm the livestock. I'm not sure about this one. Lunch is served, gentlemen. Does that giraffe have something wrong with its legs? Come along, Rosie. Hey, Kirk, I want to talk to you. Haven't you said enough? Please, son. Just five minutes of your time. Without her. I don't understand. Ach, aber, uh, I was so looking forward to you guys coming down. I, I, I just got a bit nervous. My, my friend here just helped me calm me down a bit. Dad, I'll get a good job, I promise. I'll send you money. You can come and stay with us. Are you worried about the booze? I can give it up just like that, man. There, it's done. It's over. You're not just, listening. Just give me another chance. Look, Dad, it's not about you. You can't let my grandson grow up without knowing his grandpa. Yeah, why not? I grew up not knowing my father. That's what it is. You want to punish me? No. Just, just, just stay a few more days. You see, I can do it. Man, if it was down to what do you want me to do, Big? I get no, on my knees, no. please. What's up with the elephant? It's dying. We need Danny. We got a deal, eh? One last chance. I'll never drink again, I swear. This is wonderful, Elliot. Well, then here's tomorrow in Leopard's Den and cooperation between the two. I hope you're yeah. really happy here. Thank you. Thanks. Mm. Let's eat. So, Danny, tell me about your elephant. Oh, they're so beautiful, Elliot, but we just don't have room for them. They're hungry, so they're destroying trees, which is causing problems for other animals, and now the herd's fighting among themselves. Must be difficult to watch. Yeah. Fatani, what's your take on this elephant situation? We don't need other people's cost off, sir. We've got plenty of elephants here. Yeah, but Mara's so big. You could take them. Hey, we're a little busy here. Do you mind? No. So, what happens if I say no? Well, if I can't find anyone to take them, they'll have to be shot. You said you'd never do that, Evan. It's hopeless. If he was an animal, I'd have him put down. <laughs> Sorry for the disturbance. Tony!
Who are those people? Investment bankers from Joburg, sir. They're here in a team building exercise. What's their problem? They're not happy with our guide, sir. Do they have a point? Maybe he's not one of my best men, sir. Um, this is a little like asking a surgeon for a sticking plaster, Danny, but, uh, any chance you can get me out of a hole? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that neighbors should help each other out. Excellent. And in return, I'll take a chance on those elephants of yours. We don't want any executions, do we, Evan? That's brilliant, Elliot. I don't know how to thank you. Having a good party without me? Do. This is Elliot Creel. He's going to take some of our elephants. Hey, your legend precedes you, Doop. Yeah, well, he won't have to take the elephant back at home. Why not? It's dying. Well, what's wrong? I don't know, but it looks bad. You'll have to excuse me. Rosie. Hang on, you just said you were going to take my guests out. Yeah, but sick elephants take precedence over guests, yours or mine. As long as we know where we all stand. I'll take them. Uh, do you think that's the best idea? Excellent. That'll get us both out of a hole, eh, Danny? Win-win. Great. Do, are you sure you can manage? I do it every day, woman. What can possibly go wrong? Don't mess this up, Dupe. Not this time. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't drink. <coughs> it was a mistake coming here, Kirk. I mean, how did you think he was going to react? He has a right to know what we're doing. He has a right to have an opinion. What if you never saw our child after it was born? What rights would that give you? That's unfair. OK, he didn't even know I existed. He's my dad, Nima. I'm not sure I would have chosen him from her catalogue. But he's my dad. The only one I'm ever going to have. You're not having second thoughts? No, never. No, I just want to go with my father's blessing. Is that so wrong? He just kicked my stomach. <laughs> Rack him up, boy. So what's that then, Max? Um, gazelle type things, I think. What kind of gazelle type things? Uh, small ones? Who cares? Round, four legs, lions eat them probably. And what's that up there? Well, I can help you with. Bed. Big bed. Oh, Max. It's such a pleasure to be in your capable hands. Or it will be. Come on, guys. I got the job purely on merit. <laughs> your dad just happened to be deputy chairman at the time. <laughs> Yep, and now it's the biggest family business in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, my name is Anders. Hey, boys, it's the old man who likes to scrap. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We've got to be back for a conference call at four. Come. Yep, and we want big five, eh, but I'm up to here with water. Find us a line, we'll give you a beer. <laughs> yes! Woo! <laughs> what is that? It's a natural remedy the locals swear by. Comfrey leaves. I don't like you to go down the hippy dippy route. I like to keep an open mind, Rosie. Besides which, I've run out of ideas. He looks so sad. Well, it doesn't help that his mate's not here with him. I can go and get her. <laughs> you can't just drag a wild elephant out of the bush to cheer him up. Why not? You really should keep an open mind, Dad. Will you be careful? She might be a bit grumpy. You know, lions can sleep back. 20 hours a day. <laughs> like my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Only hairier. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, pussycat! Daddy's home! Sit down and be quiet, man. Hey, don't sweat it, old boy. Have a beer. Get fighting mad again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the wagon. So drink, China. Drink! 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 <laughs> you know, I've been some clowns in my time, but you lot are really something. Here. That's your mouth, old man. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, kitty. Fetch. Don't <laughs> be stupid, man. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? You know, you guys might have all the money, but you're not fit to lick my son's boots. Oh, is he another loser like you, boot? <laughs> He's off the wagon now. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Take you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Whoa. Be all right, Danny. Well, I hope so. Well, we've done all we can. Dad, those giraffe by them are a fence. They were licking each other. It's grooming. It's perfectly normal. She's really distressed, Danny. What will she do if he dies? Let's hope he doesn't. Is Duplessy here? No. What's the matter? He didn't bring my guests back. They were due back at the lodge at four. We haven't seen him. Duplessis knows the bush like the back of his hand. He's got a radio. With Nobody's him. answering the radio. Right, Sarah, you try and raise him on the radio. Rosie, stay here. Take care of the elephant. I'm coming with you. You're going to be okay. I told you we shouldn't have come here. Duke, can you hear me? Come in, Duke. Still no sign. What's he done with him? He's probably drunk, sir. What did you say? Have you tried all the water holes? Young friend, what happened? We crashed and that thing chased us up here, man. It's a pussycat. I think that's what you called it. Look, just get rid of it! <laughs> yeah, Justice. I leave you lot here to rot. No, 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 come on, please! Stop, 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 please, stop, 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 You guys okay? They're fine. They just learned a little lesson. And boy, was it overdue. My father's gonna sue you for this. What's been going on here? He just left us in the middle of nowhere, man. He's been drinking all day and he just drove off and abandoned us. All lies. Not a drop. In fact, it was the other way around. Not another word. Gentlemen, you have my deepest apologies. Mr. Patani will take you back to the lodge. Naturally, we won't be charging you for your stay at Mora. Uh, I'm traumatized. I need a drink. It's okay, boy. So long, loser. Have a beer on me. Hey, Duke! Hey, hey, hey. Come on, man! Hey. Gentlemen, we're sorry about this. Is this how you shaft the competition? Uh, Elliot, please. This is a pack of lies. They have been drinking all day. They abandoned me. I dragged them here. I don't believe you. Fatani's told me about your background. Trevany and you and I are terminated. You can sort out your elephant problem without my help. Come on, Elliot. Don't take this out on the animals, please! Of oh, all the stupid, drunken, selfish... I told you I didn't touch a drop. Thanks, Duke. Elephants are gonna die now because of you. You know, all you ever care about are your precious elephants. Nemo was right. There's nothing to keep us here. I saw you wouldn't drink. Hey, wait. Can't someone just listen to me? We can't trust you. I'm not even sure I can carry on working with you.
nearly there. Ready? Here's the real wildlife, girls. Hey, uh, can I get... Hello, uh, sorry, uh, can we buy you a drink? It's really great. We were dicking around with this old guy. Taught this silly old fool a lesson. So we went out on this game drive. <laughs> and he wouldn't have a beer. So we hijacked the truck and left him to make his own way back. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Come on. I want to show you something. There's nothing else you can do here. Oh, this better be good. I just thought it was odd. Giraffes on our side always here to look at giraffes on their side. Giraffes are odd. That's their nature. Then I realised they're divided up by gender. See? Mm, yeah. Boys on one side, girls on the other. They both want what they can't get. Then I noticed the males licking each other's fur. You said it was grooming, but I googled it. Giraffes' saliva's antiseptic. Something of an old wives' tale. Look closely. Look at the black marks on their fur like scorch marks. Huh. Uh, what you might call electric fence height. Oh, yeah, I see. Started listening to me. What are you doing? What does it look like? God. Rosie, you can't. This is not a good time for direct action. <sighs> this fence is hurting the giraffe, Dad. I'm only solving the problem you asked me to. Careful. They're sorted. Oh, great. Sorry, go. It's got to be done. Oh, no, 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 no. You've done it now, Trevanian. I'm going to have you prosecuted for trespass and criminal damage to my fence. It's not working properly. It's that harming is... your stock. No, no, no! Your male giraffes are trying to get to the females on our side. It's the fence that's keeping them apart. Look at the fur! Those black marks, they are burns from touching the fence. It's a brand new fence. It's a great fence. It's a crap fence. It's second hand for Tani. The charge is too high. And the giraffes, they won't learn. That fence is going to burn them over and over again. There's nothing wrong. Look, I'll show you. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, for Tani, don't be stupid, huh? <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> All right, let me see that hand. All right, it's OK. You're fine. But you can't do that! What's going on? He's going to call the elephant. <laughs> Dump, you can't do this. Danny is a vet. It's his decision. Is it? He's responsible. Danny Ronald and Winnie had a job. That's an animal in the street. It should be put down of its misery. It's the hardest thing to do. Believe me, boy. Leave him. Let him do what he wants. You better let him do it. You always do. This has gone far enough. Okay, give me the gun. Stop! Ni 
Emma? Are you okay, Matt? Anders! You all right? Nima! Oh! Oh! Is he going to be all right? Well, you best get him to a doctor and corral those giraffes so I can look at their burns. What did you do that for? I don't want to lose my job. You could have lost your life. Tony, you're a bloody idiot. Thanks, sir. Hey, Danny. Thanks for your help. I appreciate it. Well, that's what neighbors are for. Danny, are you there? Please answer. There's a problem with Nima. I've called the air ambulance. They'll be here as soon as possible. <sighs> Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay, Nima, how are you feeling? Terrible, baby. Yeah, it's perfectly natural. <sighs> Your baby's just decided he's had enough of the dark. He wants to see some African sun. <laughs> Can you give us something for the pain? <laughs> well, let's leave that to the experts. I am a vet, not an obstetrician. <sighs> the air ambulance will be here soon. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Shh, it's good girl. Good. Yes. Ah! Hold on. Oh, Hold on, Nima. Oh, right. You just shut oh. up, will you? Helicopter's been called to a smash on the motorway. They're sending a normal ambulance by road. Did they say how long, Caroline? <laughs> Two or three hours. No! It's all right. It's all right. There we go. I'm sorry, Nima. Easy. All right, everyone, can we keep the noise down to a minimum so I can talk to Nina? <laughs> so just gentle. That's great. When you feel contraction coming, just push through it. That's it. Girls? Anyone out? <laughs> Sorry. You're keen. So what's your pleasure, big boy? I need your help. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we go and score on some cheeks? Ladies? Hello. It's my last night of freedom, as you know. Brings about to go on a finger poor thing. <laughs> so how's your head? You guys uh, can drink, eh? My head is very, very pretty, don't you think? So I was thinking, you know, since my fancy free days are over, might as well go up the bang. Your chariot awaits. So just gentle. That's great. That's cool. Ah! All right, all right. Just push through it. That's it. The baby's on its way. I can see the head. That's good, Nima. That's great. That's good. to be the bearer of bad news. What? What's happened? A girl? <laughs> My boy! <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I don't have the right. I can't even look you in the eye. I... Look at me. Look at me. She needs her granddad to be strong. Oh, you guys are not going to believe this. <laughs> Ready, willing, and very able, girls. And we got a surprise for you. <laughs> One, two, two, three. three. Open, Open your eyes. What's this? Tell everyone what you told the girls in my bar about abandoning Dup. I want them to hear it straight from the horse's ass. Dup, seems I owe you an apology. I will never forget what you've done, Danny. Never. Invading your neighbor, destroying his property, delivering babies. Is every day like this for you? Well, not normally this quiet. <laughs> hey, you were right about the fence, huh? It was a cowboy job. 
Thanks. So are you going to repair it? No. I want to pull it down. Electric fence, boundary fence, all the fences. What? Look, I've been staring at a map, mulling over our situation. You've got excess elephant, I've got excess space. My male giraffe want to get acquainted with your females. What's the common problem? Fences. It's a pretty radical idea, Elliot. It's a big idea. I like big ideas. They, you know, they make life exciting. So here's the deal. We hang on to our own land but save maintenance costs. We share a bigger stock and we give our guests a better time. Who wants to go into the wilderness and look at a wire fence? Fair point. You could help me with the vet stuff and I'd help you with the business stuff. Yeah. Synergy. Win-win. Win-win. I understand we owe you an apology. Come, Anders. Come see. No, no, baby must be with its mother. You're the grandfather and you saved our lives. She wants you. so much since you won the Rugby World Cup. <laughs> Look, look how strong she is. Oh, it's the happiest day of my life. This one's flat too. I didn't know Cook when he was growing up, and that was my great loss. Nothing can ever change that. We've got years ahead of us. We can make up some of that time. Yeah. I heard you going to America. I could just see it all happening all over again. It was no intention to hurt you, Anders. No, I know, I know. But you know, I've been thinking, if you really love somebody, you want what's best for them, yes? Yes. And once we settled, you can come out. You try and stop me. You don't mind, Dad? It's too busy blood in your veins, boy. You have to obey it. Now we can't call her Anders, but we like Amber. Amber! <laughs> Amber. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Watch out. Whoa. Whoa. Go for it, boys! <laughs> Well, here's to the future. A big idea future. And the best game park in Africa. Yay. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Danny, look. <laughs> well done, Dad. Well done yourself. <laughs> What are you doing in Africa? People had stolen a perfectly healthy three-year-old lioness. They were breaking the law. Okay. What if it's true? Why are you covering for her? I just never found the right man. What are you going to do? You're going to give her back? If you don't, I'll just have to come and find her, and then I'll close you down, and then I'll get you struck off. 
Well, our Sunday night of show-stopping drama continues with the Dancing on Ice show tune Skate Off next. Who'll be leaving? You've just got a few minutes to, more to decide. And then a sponsorship deal, a saucy shop and a family affair provide some tangled troubles in Kingdom at 9.15.